Throughout our discussion of conjugated pi systems, one point we've returned to again and again is this idea that resonance is conceptually related to molecular orbital theory. And in this video, we're going to see this idea once again in the context of benzene rings substituted with electron donating and withdrawing groups. These groups have predictable and actually somewhat intuitive effects on the shapes of molecular orbitals if we take resonance into account. And in particular, we're not going to look at all of the molecular orbitals. We're going to focus only on two, what are called the frontier molecular orbitals, the highest occupied MO and the lowest unoccupied MO. The highest occupied MO gives us insight into the nature of the molecule as a nucleophile, in other words, where it's most likely to react as a nucleophile or Lewis base or electron donor. The LUMO gives us insight into the nature of the molecule as an electrophile, how it's most likely to react as an electron acceptor or Lewis acid, and more specifically, on which atoms it will act this way. Benzenes that are substituted with strong electron donating groups or electron withdrawing groups are what we might call electronically activated relative to unsubstituted benzene. They're either electron rich or electron poor. Electron rich benzenes have HOMOs that resemble the resonance structures we can draw for those species. And on the other hand, electron poor benzenes have LUMOs whose shapes reflect resonance structures that we can draw for those molecules. And so to really solidify this connection between resonance and molecular orbitals, in this video we're going to look at resonance structures of electron-rich and electron-poor benzenes and see how those relate to the shapes of the highest occupied MO and lowest unoccupied MO in those benzenes respectively. Let's start with aniline, which is an electron-rich benzene due to the presence of the strong electron donating NH2 group in this molecule. I'm going to start by drawing three important resonance forms for aniline that engage the NH2 group as an electron donor. Now let's build this molecule in Hewless and examine the frontier molecular orbitals. Because this molecule is electron rich due to the presence of the amino group, we should expect it to be a stronger nucleophile than benzene. And so it makes sense to focus on the highest occupied molecular orbital of this compound as its most important orbital. This is a relatively high energy, highest occupied MO, meaning the molecule has the potential to act as a Lewis base, at least relative to benzene. If we examine the shape of this MO, the thing that we notice is that three of the largest lobes in the orbital are located at positions where we find negative charge in the resonance structure. These locations of negative charge point to sites within the ring where the molecule is activated as a nucleophile, and we can actually see that in the highest occupied molecular orbital shape over here. Although the largest lobes are on nitrogen and the carbon next door, which makes sense considering nitrogen is a relatively electronegative element that's going to want to have a lot of electron density on it, if we focus on the other carbons of the ring, what we find is that the electronically activated positions are the ortho and para positions. And it's not a coincidence that these resonance structures and the location of negative charge within them is telling us the same thing that the shape of the HOMO is telling us. These are the nucleophilic carbons within this activated electron-rich ring. And the general point here really is what's listed on the slide. Negative charge in resonance structures of benzene substituted with electron donating groups corresponds to large lobes in the highest occupied molecular orbital and sites of strong nucleophilic behavior. Let's do the same analysis for benzaldehyde, which contains a benzene ring substituted with an electron withdrawing group, the aldehyde group. This makes the molecule's ring electron poor. And let's begin as we did before by drawing resonance structures of this molecule that engage the electron withdrawing group to show the locations within the ring that bear some positive charge. Now let's build the molecule in Hewless and see how the molecular orbitals turn out. Because the aromatic ring in this compound is now electron poor, our focus should be on the ring as an electron acceptor or electrophile. And that means the frontier orbital that we should pay attention to is the LUMO, the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital. In looking at the shape of the LUMO, the thing to notice is that where we see positive charge within these resonance structures within the ring, we also find large lobes in the LUMO within the ring at the ortho and para positions. This is not a coincidence. Both of these representations, the resonance representation 
and the shape of the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital point to the atoms that are most electrophilic within this molecule. And the general point to take away from this example is that positive charge in resonance structures corresponds to large lobes in the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital of the molecule. This is true whether we're dealing with substituted benzenes or any other kind of conjugated pi system or most broadly really any type of organic molecule. It's a foundational principle of resonance theory and frontier molecular orbital theory which focuses on the HOMO and LUMO.